is Kavya, your host for today, and I have an announcement that from now on we'll post videos every Sunday. So stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Okay, let's come back to the topic. We all love stories, right? According to the survey conducted, we got that more people like Ruskin Bond stories than Sudhamurti or Rohan Dahl stories. To listen to some favorite stories by Ruskin Bond, we are starting with the book called The Blue Umbrella. Today we listen to the first chapter by Absa. So three, two, one, and go. Hello everyone. My name is Absa, and I am back again with another story by Ruskin Bond. I love reading storybooks, and I hope you do too. Ruskin Bond is a brilliant author, and one of his stories is called The Blue Umbrella, which is also a really good book that I am going to be sharing with you today. So I hope you enjoy. Nilu, Nilu, cried Binya as she ran over the short summer grass. Binya is a small village child. She had very dirty clothes. She had long, beautiful hair and pink, rosy cheeks. She did not know her age. She thought that she was ten. You see, the people of the village don't celebrate their birthdays. Binya had a brother called Biji. Biji was two years older than her. She had two cows called Nilu and Gori. She stopped calling for her cows after some time. She heard something. It was some tinkling noises. She smiled. She knew that it was her cows, so she followed the noise. As she was following the noise. She stumbled across some holiday makers. There were women dressed in brightly coloured saris, men in summer cool clothes, and children wearing beautiful clothes. They were having a picnic. They looked like they were from a wealthy family. As she admired their clothes and the food, she noticed a blue umbrella. She took a step forward to look at it a bit more closely, but the the woman noticed her and had a chat. Oh look, there's a little village girl. She is pretty, isn't she? But look at how torn her clothes are, and dirty, and they're dirty. Let's invite her. Let's give her some food. The oldest out of the two women called her to have some food. As she stepped closer and closer, the youngest, the youngest, said, "said Oh look, there's look at her necklace. It has a claw on it." One of the, one of the men remarked, "It's a pendant. It is used to keep bad spirits away. It's used as a lucky charm." Oh, I want one too! Whined his wife. Let's just give her two or three rupees for the necklace. So her husband gave offered her a two rupee note. Binya shook her head and pointed at the blue umbrella. But that's my umbrella. You wanted the necklace. The other woman interrupted the conversation. We are making fools of ourselves. Let me just tell the small girl to go away. Before she could act, the other lady said, "No, it's fine. Here, have my umbrella." Binya took it with great joy and gave her necklace with a beautiful smile. She forgot about the holiday makers and disappeared 
into the forest. Hope you like the first chapter of The Blue Umbrella by Ruskin Bond. Thank you for listening to it. In the next video, you will be listening to the second chapter of Ruskin Bond. Till then, bye and thank you for listening to my story. Thank you, Apsa, for the inspirational chapter. I'm really eager for the next chapter. I hope everyone liked the story. So if you like our content, please like and subscribe. And yes, thank you all for the 100 subscribers. Wait, something's really wrong. What's it? It's that 54% of our viewers haven't subscribed our channel. Our walkie talkies team is really upset. So please let's make it a hundred percent subscribed. Let's do it. Okay, I don't know something. A quote by Walt Disney that is, All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. So we conclude this video with this positive thought. Comment inspirational story if you are still watching it. Thank <music> you.